If you're a bar aficionado like us, and you find yourself in Las Vegas, Nevada, where do you go to get a drink? Here? Here, maybe? How about here? The answer is none of the above. Because, if you are like us, and you like to sip a drink in a real bar, nothing on the Strip will do. Not the newest trendy nightclub, and not even the casino lounge will do. Nope. If you're anything like us, you're going to drink here. This is Atomic Liquors, a real bar, off the Strip, filled with history, stories, and character. This is a place worthy of your bucket list. This place has a great story, and to get it, we went to one of the owners, Derek, who recently bought the old saloon and is polishing her up to her original condition. Atomic Liquors, it's actually the oldest bar in Las Vegas. Um, it's the oldest freestanding bar, which means kind of it was built outside of a casino. Back in the day, of course, there were older bars that were, they were all inside casinos. But over the years, they've been completely remodeled, they've been changed, and they're all gone. So ironically, Atomic Liquors, it's the oldest bar left. It's the oldest bar existing in the town of Las Vegas. But what about its unique name? What about this old bar had anything to do with the atomic bomb? Originally in 1945, it was, a, it was a cafe called Virginia's Cafe. And for about six years, they functioned. They did, they did okay. It was during war times. There was rationing on food. So it was always kind of hard to, to serve up, you know, uh, delicious meals and people really started drinking here honestly I probably before they even had a liquor license so people started drinking here in the 1951 1952 they started doing atomic testing which was just about uh, just about 50 miles up the up the road there and this was before there were casinos or anything here so you could actually wash watch the mushroom clouds from from atomic from this area Fremont Street and people started going up on the roof and having atomic cocktails and that's really what uh, what, what blew this place up, they, they started making money off of alcohol, or alcohol drinks, and then they ended up changing the name to Atomic Liquors in 1952. The bar became a popular watering hole during Las Vegas' heyday. In the 50s and 60s, the most elite entertainers in the city would converge here to tip back a few and relax after their performances. But the Rat Pack, the Smothers Brothers, uh, they would all come here and they would rub elbows with the casino workers. And between the hours of two in the morning until 10 in the morning, this place was just insane with locals. There would be different groups of uh, people sitting around the bar, and there would be celebrities frequenting the place because they were all their friends. They all worked together. You know, they're either in show business or in the casino business. So it's no big deal when you work with these people. As is the case with many places like Atomic Liquors, the establishment fell into disrepair later in life as the section of the city she lives in became more and more desperate. Uh, this street was pretty poor at the time. They're, they're really cleaning it up now. The, the area is a lot nicer. There was a motel across the street, the motel next door. It's kind of seedy, a lot of transient. And Joe always had the idea, though, that he was going to bring this bar back to the way it was in the 50s and 60s. Streisand used to come in here and play pool. Uh, Rat Pack came in here every now and then for drinks before or after a show. And he always had that feeling that with just the right turn of the card, he could have it back like that. The street just, you know, the area had changed so much he wasn't going to make it like that anymore. Yeah. Atomic Liquors closed its doors in January of 2011. Luckily, local businessmen saw what the bar used to be and were willing to place their bets on opening her again. Atomic Liquors is the place to drink away from the lights and the gaudiness of Las Vegas. It's an honest place. A place that isn't trying to take every last dollar you've got. Instead, it's a place that gives you the comfort, peace, and welcoming feeling that only a true bar can give. This place should be your number one destination when you come to Las Vegas. Give it a try. Order an Atomic cocktail, mix with some locals, and experience one of the rarest things in the city. History. <laughs>